For people of certain ethnic backgrounds, finding a bone marrow match can be difficult, but for those who are biracial, the odds are even tougher. Health specialist Denise DeDore is here to explain the dilemma people of multiracial backgrounds face. Yeah, it is an interesting dilemma. This, year, this year's historic election illustrates just how diverse our nation is. But experts say you'd never know that by looking at who's registered to donate bone marrow. One local woman's mixed heritage sheds a spotlight on another growing group of individuals in desperate need. Growing up in two cultures is something 26-year-old Chrissy Kobata embraces. You always kind of really took pride in your heritage because it's something that's unique and special. But being half white and half Japanese has put her in a unique situation. In April, Chrissy was diagnosed with myelodysplastic syndrome. It's a bone marrow failure, so my bone marrow isn't producing any of the healthy cells it needs to be producing. She's stable now, but she could downward spiral tomorrow, next week, or next year. No one knows. What doctors do know is without a bone marrow transplant, the disease will worsen. They immediately tested my brother, and it was devastating when we found out that he wasn't a match. Each year of the 10 to 15,000 patients who need unrelated bone marrow matches, only a quarter find one. The odds are much worse for Chrissy because she's biracial. Of the 7 million people registered in the National Marrow Donor Program, only 180,000 have multiracial backgrounds. The larger the donor pool, the, the, the better the chance of finding a match. Jimmy Loon is a marrow expert for One Lambda, the nation's largest supplier of bone marrow testing kits. He says the goal is to find someone with matching human leukocyte antigens located on chromosome 6. This is called a haplotype, and it's made up of alleles inherited from each parent. Some of Chrissy's alleles are specific to the Japanese population, and... You also have to match the, uh, the, the alleles that come from the Caucasian gene pool. A Japanese white mix is her best bet, although Loon says the Caucasian part of Chrissy's alleles may also be found in someone Chinese. Haplotypes vary because of genes handed down through generations. So the more people who register, the better. Making all the difference in the world. I mean, you could be saving someone's life, literally. And that's probably the most powerful thing to take away from it. Now, Chrissy is working with Asians for Miracle Marrow Matches to organize local bone marrow drives. They're holding a key fundraiser in November. 